Hi everyone, in this video we are going to see that how we can send and receive packets using Skype. So in our previous video we saw that how we can create packets and how we can send them but in this video we are going to continue the same discussion but in this video specifically we will be saying that how to send and receive packet using Skype. So we have discussed that uh, from one machine to another machine like here when we send some information, it, that information is sent in the form of packets. So now this, those packets can be created with the help of Skype and we'll see some of the functions which can be used for sending as well as receiving. And for that we have very first function that is SR. So SR stands for sending and receiving. So this is a function used to send and receive packets in Skype. And uh, that SR and SR uh, is for network layer packets and then SR1 this is a function to send and receive a single packet so if you if you are interested in only sending one packet and receiving one packet then we will be using SR1 and uh, now SR as well as SR1 both of these functions are used to send layer 3 packets for example, IP, ICMP, ARP, and some other protocols. And then we also have SRP, and this function is to send and receive against to send and receive packets. And we also have SRP1, and this is used to send a single packet and receive single packet. But only difference is that this SRP and SRP1 are used to send layer two frames for example 802.11 which we call wi-fi also ethernet frames so there's a difference so this you can see this these these are basically for layer three and this is for layer two okay and in addition to that these functions return a couple of two lists so for example if we use srp so srp will return two lists in one list we will have packets sent as well as answer so we will have this information packet sent and answer and then we also have some information about the packets which are not uh, answered so unanswered packet will also be um, uh, returned and then they will be saved in this function okay now with this discussion let's move to Kali Linux machine and we can see that how this works Okay, now to see how this SR function or sending and receiving of packets in Skype works, we are using Kali Linux machine, but you can use Windows machine as well. But in my Kali Linux machine, I'm going to launch this terminal here and then maybe just to maximize it, we can simply use control plus plus sign so that we can see what we are typing. And then I'm going to start Skype using sudo Skype uh, command. So then it's asking for password. This is Kali. Kali is a password. And now you can see we have a prompt. And on this prompt, first of all, I'm going to create a packet. And I have I have shown you that how to get uh, different help and these all things in my previous video. So first of all, I'm going to create a packet. Let's say I'm going to say original. Maybe we can say new packet. And this is the name which I'll be using for my packet. You can have any name. And in this packet, uh, I'm going to define a layered packet. So first of all, that will be ether, ETH ether, and this the ethernet frame, and then forward slash that is actually stacking oper operator. So on top of ether, I have, I'm going to um, stack IP. So in that case, we will be simply using IP and destination. I'm going to use some destination here. The destination in this case I'm using, let's say DST is equal to and then inverted commas. And here I'm going to use a website scanme.nmap.org. This is something which they have created to test our scanning. So scanme.nmap.org is my destination and this is the only field which I'm going to specify here. And now on top of that, on top of IP layer, I am going to introduce ICMP, which you know that ICMP is the protocol used for sending ping requests. 
and on top of that maybe I can have some raw data maybe I can say GD networking and new view okay so after this my uh, packet or specifically my frame is ready and that frame will be saved in new packet and now if you want to see that we what we have here you can maybe say new packet maybe using new packet new and packet p a c k d packet dot summary and press enter so this is the method this method summary method is giving us information that we have ether ip icmp and this is the source ip address and this is the destination url domain name and this actually a request and some raw data so this has been we have created this packet and now if you want to send this packet then as you know that this is actually ether in this case we will be using srp function so i'm going to say srp and in this srp i'm going to use the name of the packet which i have just created that is name is new packet and then i just close it so now with this function this packet will be sent and i'm going to press enter here uh -huh. it shows that begin trans begin emission finish sending one packet receive two packets got one answer remaining zero packets and the results are this and these are the unanswered so results tcp udp icmp was one and there was no other protocol which was used unanswered there is nothing unanswered but now if i'm specifically interested in looking at the answered and unanswered packets uh, after the transmission of this packet then i can simply use because we say we, we mentioned that this function srp can give us two lists so one of the lists we are going to save in answer and second let's say unanswered so we are going to save this list here and then we say is equal to and then this is srp the function which i'm using and then I'm going to give the name of the packet which I have created. So that is new P A C K E T packet. So answered, unanswered packet. And then I'm going to give the name of that. In addition to that, I'm going to define here timeout. So after this time, this is timeout. And maybe we can say timeout is equal to maybe two seconds. And then we press enter. The timeout means after after waiting this time you can send it again so timeout and then press enter and now you can see it said begin emission finish sending one packet received one packet got one answers remaining zero packet so now it it received one packet and that packet had some answers and now if you want to see that what we have in this ans uh, list and what we have in unanswered list so and for that we can simply use a summary method so that is ansn and then maybe summary method to show that what we have here it will be giving it will be giving the summary so you can see here it says that ether ip icmp so this message was sent from this ip address which is the ip address of my kali linux machine which i am using and this is the ip address of the domain or the url so that was scanme.nmap.org and this was echo request and some raw data was there and then we have ether ip icmp and then we are getting reply back so now you can see this is the ip address of the url which we used and then this reply is coming back to our kali linux machine and that is echo reply so this is what we have in ans uh, answer list and then if you in the same way if you want are interested in unanswered uh, list so we can say unanswered and then we can use summary method there to look at the summary of that and press enter we can see we don't have anything we don't have anything in an uns unanswered list in the same way if you want to see uh, the details of various fields of a packet so in that case we can simply use maybe uh, once and dot show and press enter so it will give you the details of that which we, we which we can see we, we could see in the first one as well so if you want to see the uh, detail of 
of this uh, list. So this is the show function in the same way we can see the details of unanswered list as well with the show function. We say ans and then is use the yes show function and press enter you can see in this case this is showing nothing but in the case of answer you can see this is the detailed information which we saw before so this is how we can actually send and receive but um uh, here we have make you we have made use of srp because we were interested in sending layer two frames but if you don't have layer two for example if you don't have ether then in the in that case we will be simply using sr which we uh, discussed in at the start of this video during my powerpoint slides so so that's it and uh, thank you very much for your time hope to see you in some other video related with escaping